Hello, it's Nancy today. Okay, I wonder what I look like when I squish my hair down with this thing on it. I look pretty funny afterwards. Okay, now I'm going to start making the uprights for the basket. Before they go upright, however, they're going to come in from the sides and then they're going to bend upright. So, they need to be very sharp. Now, you notice this has a bit of a curve to it, so that would be good to bend it here, right? So, we're going to have to, can you see what I'm showing you? Okay, so this is kind of bent, and so it'll, it's going to bend upward here. We're going to stick it in through all these things. I'm going to stick it right down in to the center. Now you see how this end is bigger than the big than the holes. Okay, well, now this is going to be on a curve. So I'm going to I'm going to whittle the end off. Make it nice and pointed. Now you could just clip it. See, but this is this hole that it's got to go into is pretty small. You see that? So what we do is we take an awl. Now I don't have my awl with me, but I do have this. So you can take your awl and stick it in that space. And you're going to widen it, open it up. Okay, and that will make it big enough or movable enough that I can stick this in. And I want it to go as far to the top as I can. Okay. Now this is going to later stand up, and what I'm going to do in order to make it stand up is I'm going to poke it right there, and then I'm going to very carefully bend it upright. You see? And this is then going to be one of the uprights of the basket. And it's very long, and that's because it's also going to become a handle for the top of the basket, which will then just be perfect. See, now, some of my handle ones are going to have to be longer than the other ones. So I use my longest ones going those ways. I shall once again, you see I have... So I have a curve here, so it's going to bend upward like that. And I'm going to carve off some of the end of this, make it nice and pointed on the end. So it'll make its way way down into that. I don't want it too thin, I don't want it to break on me. Okay, so I'll put this in the next one. going to do the same on the other side. These are nice and long as well. Not quite as long. The way to get your mo the longest ones, you stand your bundle up and let them all fall to the ground like so. And then 
you grasp at the very top. You see, this is a very long one. Okay. And then you get you grab the hand your hand at the very top. And that will take out your very longest ones. Okay. Now those very long ones later on you're going to need four on each side so you're going to need those this one is bent we can't use that one later so later on we're going to need four on each side one two three four one two three four so i'm going to set these aside for my handle I'm going to put them underneath it so i don't use them inadvertently Okay, we're just going to continue around. It won't fit in there at all because look at how small that hole is. So we stick this in there. This is bending the wrong direction. Can't take it out, can't put it in. This is a this has a curve here which helps for putting it alongside the edge of this.
Okay, well, it should go in further, but I can't get it in any further. Now, I'm holding this in such a way that it can't cut me. Even if I, you know, I'd have to get right in front of it to cut me. Now, you see, I'm going on the same side of each of these every time. But if the gap is too big, you can go on both sides. So these, which are going to bend and become the uprights, are the stakes. That's what these are called. They're the stakes. And see how it's starting to look like a big wheel? Hello. Is that Jane? No, Jane's not here. Oh, is she coming? Oh, I guess she's out of she's at the islands, right? What time is it? Uh, nine. What time does your class start? Nine thirty? Nine thirty. Are you teaching it? I am. Well, you're lucky I've got the heat on for you. Yeah, that's good. That's why I figured. 